told you I weren't there. Come on, Hicks. Your car was spotted by a neighbour. We checked it out. We know you went there. Do you know what I think? I think you knew that she'd started seeing someone else. That she was slowly building her life back up again and you couldn't bear it. I think you went there that night trying to catch them at it. The caretaker told us you still had a key. He'd spotted you in there before. Oh, I'm really sorry about yesterday. I mean it. Believe me, I had no idea he'd react that way. I just thought he'd just shout a bit and that would be that. Boy, can he pack a punch? I was really impressed. And the way he dragged you along the dance floor was amazing. Oh, come on, Harry, cheer up. Look on the bright side. At least our plan worked. He really does care about me. He was livid when he saw us together. Sally was drunk, so I thought I'd better not leave her. I thought she just wanted to have a go at Hugh, but, but when he turned up, she, she didn't want to talk. She just went berserk. She started trying to attack him. I tried to reason with her, but she just wouldn't listen. Hugh started to slap her. And then I heard this voice. It said, hit him. And then again, hit him. I think it was Sally. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it was me. Yes. It really annoys me when people say a man and a woman can't just be friends. I think friendship between a man and a woman can be really special, don't you? You've got very sincere eyes. I can tell a lot about a man's eyes. Your eyes were the first thing I noticed about you when I bumped into you in the lift the other week. Actually, I've got a confession to make. I didn't exactly bump into you. I've been watching you for ages. The look on his face, I've never seen him so angry. And you, wearing his bathrobe, was a brilliant idea, even if I do say so myself. Oh, I've never been so happy. Thank you so much. Ah, get off. Oh, Harry, you can be such a grudge at times. Your pal, Lenny, he's crap. He told us you weren't playing snooker together all No! Night. You're pathetic. Do you know that, Hicks? Shopping you to the police was the best thing that poor girl ever did. I'm only sorry they didn't keep a piece of shit like you off the street for longer. This time round, there'll be no slip-ups with the investigation. And unlike your pal Lenny, I always keep my word. People are pretty dull round here and... When someone even slightly interesting comes along, I'd have to be blind not to notice them. Anyway, look at me going on. Um, what I wanted to say was, if you wanted to be shown round at any time, or fancied having a drink at any time, I'd be happy to oblige. Of course, if you're busy, then that's fine too. It's been really great having this chat with you. I feel like I'm really starting to get to know you. Anyway, there's my card. Feel free. Anytime. I looked down at Hugh and there was blood seeping from his head. And he wasn't moving, he was just lying there, face down. I looked at Sally and suddenly she, she wasn't drunk anymore. She, she just, she looked at me coldly. Now you've done it, she said, I've done it. And then she walked away. I couldn't believe it. She, she just left me there, standing in the street with his body. I wanted to scream, but she, somebody might have heard me.